All right, hey friends. Uh, today we are going to be um, doing a little comparison for you. We have a really fantastic wood stove by Cubic Mini that we love, and we also have the fantastic propane heater by Mr. Heater, the portable buddy. So we're going to be kind of weighing both out the pros, cons, uh, why you might want one or the other, or if you're like us and it doesn't get above 10 degrees, you might want both. So stay tuned, and by the end of this video, you'll really have a great idea of what might be right for your conversion. Okay, so we just came back to the bus, the fire was out, there's no propane going, so it's pretty chilly in here right now. I uh, just got a fire going, but this is an opportunity where I love the propane heater, because the fire is going to take about half an hour to get to a point where it warms up the air around here. Propane heater, come over here, give it a couple clicks, get that pilot light going, and then you have low or high. For this instance, I'm going to go ahead and fire up on high, and then this thing starts to heat the air immediately. It gets this whole bus really hot within, I'd say, 15 minutes. Yeah. So that's one for the propane heater as far as if you need heat now. Uh, just the control, being able to control the heat on the propane heater is definitely uh, a big plus. Being able to turn it off if you're too hot, being able to turn it down, being able to turn it up, that's a huge advantage. Um, you and can't... moving it wherever. Exactly. Right now we have the little buddy plugged in to a 15 pound tank on the other side of this wall. Um, but when you get it, it's just set up for one pound containers, one pound propane tanks. So that's actually really handy because you can move this all over the bus to the colder areas. If you just want to be stuck in one spot, you want to be in bed, then we can move this to the bed area and just warm that area up, which is a really nice advantage of propane as well. I'm just going to say right off the bat, there's no competition when it comes to practicality. Propane really is kind of the way to go. Um, but there are a lot of advantages to using a wood stove as well. So one big disadvantage to the wood stove is we were just at Zaina's mom's for about two hours and I left a piece of wood burning before I left and came back and it was almost all the way out. So getting this thing restarted, I mean, you can see your breath in the bus right now. And then once you work on getting it started, it creates a lot of smoke. So we have to open the top. Now it's snowing in here. All the hot air is going. <laughs> you take the good with the bad with the wood stove. And I'd say that's probably the biggest bad thing about it is if it goes out and we don't have starter wood right now, it, it can be a really just a massive pain getting to get this thing started again. Luckily, this brick is going, so that's good. Mm, yeah, I had to blow on it a lot and throw some sawdust in there. And that's what created all the smoke. But it's slowly getting there. So another thing to consider, con with the wood stove, is it's messy. Uh, we have to clean out ash yeah. um, at least, you know, at least once a day, sometimes more than that. You get ash picked up right here. When you go to mix things around inside, sometimes embers fall out onto the floor. The floor is always messy right here because we're dealing with that. And then you have to store the wood, which, you know, just makes a big mess all around it. I find the mess to be kind of charming <laughs> because I love, like, you know, just the fireplace. I love the kind of the country feel. And you definitely get that country feel with the fireplace um, and having all your wood lying around. We also have to cut our wood which is a whole nother process, but it's also part of the charm of living in a bus. And um, I really enjoy the routine of having the wood stove. I would never trade this for anything, really. I really love having the wood stove. A little more expensive to maintain, definitely more expensive to purchase. Also, insulation is a thing. We had to drill holes in the ceiling. Yeah. We had to insulate all around there to make sure it's not gonna catch on fire. Um, building the hearth. So as far as the whole construction, this is obviously a much more elaborate setup. Um, but the reason I would never trade the wood stove is because the way it heats. So the wood stove heats in an omnidirectional way, meaning everything around this is getting warmed up all around this, this uh, one by one foot um, block. This, however, everything right here and right above it, most of the heat comes out of this and goes straight up. I mean, you can feel it right here is the hottest spot for this, for this uh, right in front of it. I can hold my hand no problem. That's not hot at all right here. So the heat immediately rises and fills the ceiling and then escapes through any gaps you might have as to where this heat fills the whole area and then starts to fill it up. So it warms the bus much more, I'd say convincingly, like it feels like it warms in a way that just really is like your home being warm. And this thing keeps things warm pretty much right in front of it. So it works for us because we scoot it close to the bed and it warms up and then the bed's high up. So it just creates this, uh, this pocket of warm air where we are. But if that's not the situation for you, this is kind of more of a space heater. And this is, this is an area heater. So that's definitely something to consider when you're, when you're going into both. 
I love it particularly because we can cook things on it. So in the morning we have our little, I don't have it anywhere near me, our little espresso thing that we cook on top of the wood stove. And then we also put toast on there to get that toasted. We have a little pot that we can warm up water or cook soup on. So it's really awesome because it's like a double use, not having to use propane for food purposes. It's also super cute and cozy. And in these really cold wintry nights, we love to have tea and read books by the fire. So I don't know, anything else we should talk about? We also installed this um, kind of slipper and glove warmer, which is, it doesn't, is cute, but... it doesn't look super cute, but it's practical. And this thing actually gets pretty toasty. I mean, it never doesn't get really, really, really hot anymore, but it definitely gets to the point where it'll warm those up for us, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's very romantic. It we really, we really enjoy cold nights, just putting some wood in the fire, sitting around it, you know, playing chess, watching movies. Let's go over the fuel that each one takes, sort of the pros and cons of propane, the pros and cons of wood. Um, propane, first off, it's a silent killer. Let's be honest, if you don't have a, a system set up properly, I mean, you do have propane on board, or at least it should be out of your living space, obviously. But you know, if propane leaks, that's terrible. We have, we have a carbon monoxide detector for that very reason, but still, you always have that sort of apprehension when it comes to propane. Especially at nighttime when we have to have it on All when we're sleeping. Hours, yeah. yeah. Um, the other thing with propane is it dries the air out. It, it pulls, it, I'm sorry, it burns all the oxygen out of the air. So this actually has a regulator which shuts off if there's not enough oxygen in the air. That can be a double-edged sword because we live in Colorado where there's not a lot of oxygen in the air as it is. So sometimes if we go up to high enough altitudes where the air is really thin, this thing won't even light. Yeah. And I've seen videos of people having to manually light this because uh, there's not enough oxygen in the air to even use it. Now this, obviously heat is going to burn oxygen out of the air, but this is much, much less violent uh, heat exchange. Uh, I guess one thing I can get into. Whoa! Let's... Okay. Okay. So for this, we use these compressed wood bricks. And the fire just went out, see? Yeah. We use compressed wood bricks that we have to cut in half to get fit in here. And they burn for about three and a half to four hours. Overall, though, it does cost us more money to run the wood stove than it does to run the propane. So we tried to kind of balance out a really equal compromise. Right before we go to bed, I'll shove two logs in the fireplace, let it burn, and then I'll get up in the middle of the night when it's too cold, um, and I'll walk out here and fire up the propane and just leave that on for the rest of the night. That keeps me from having to get up like three or four times like I used to, to keep having to feed the fireplace throughout the whole night. Rather, I just rely on the propane to keep us warm after the first two bricks burn out. During the day, I like to use the wood stove the whole time, because then you can just keep feeding it logs, keep regulating it. It keeps it a nice, even temperature in here, yeah. and it's great because when we're not in the bus, it's okay. We can leave the wood stove, leave the bus, and know the cats are all right. Propane, you don't want to leave that unattended. So we never burn this when we're not in the bus. We burn this pretty much 24 hours a day. We really like having both of them to have the option. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing a bus conversion, that might be the best thing for you. If you're doing a van conversion, I would recommend the Little Buddy. Just for the versatility and it's gonna get really hot. I couldn't imagine having this thing in a van because you can't turn it down really. Um, it, it gets to a, a certain level and you can turn it down. You can. It has adjustments on the front for slower burns, but it still stays really hot. So you can't really turn it off like you can with the, the little buddy, Mr. Peter. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching another video. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment below. We love to hear from you guys. And hopefully this video was super helpful if you're dealing with really cold temperatures or not sure what to do for your heating. We're going to put links to uh, all the things that we just showed you, the Cubic Mini wood stove and the Mr. Heater in the description below. So you can check those out if it's something you might want to purchase. Also, our next video is going to be specifically about how we survive in these frigid temperatures. So if you are having an issue with cold right now like we are, then stay tuned because hopefully we'll have some really good um, helpful information for you.